Good morning. This is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and today I want to talk about something that's really cool with Windows PowerShell 5 classes, and that's the ability to add in methods. Now, interestingly enough, uh, just like when I create a property in a Windows PowerShell 5 class, I don't use a property keyword. Uh, when I create a method, I don't use a method keyword either. So, when you're just kind of doing a quick scan over your code, you may not know or realize that, hey, you know, I actually have a method here or I've got a property here. One of the things that's a dead giveaway, however, is that Windows PowerShell for sure knows if it's dealing with a property or a method. And so you can look at the color coding or the um, syntax highlighting if you will uh, and it'll tell you if you've got a method or a property so for instance my properties here are in orange and my methods here are in purple now we should know from uh, working with Windows PowerShell that uh, when I call a property in Windows PowerShell I always have to use like the two little parentheses and uh, otherwise what I wind up with is actually the uh, syntax of that property uh, so, um, and that's that's when I'm working interactively you know and I'm typing stuff in and I call a property from an object or I call a method from an object I forget to put in my parentheses and boom I wind up with the um, the syntax for that actual um, method. This isn't an error. As a matter of fact, this is a feature of Windows PowerShell to show me how that I can actually call a method. So in this particular example here, I've kind of stripped down my car class that I talked about yesterday and the day before, and I got rid of the enums, and I've kind of simplified it a little bit. So what we see are a few properties, and I'm defining my two methods. So I specify the name of the method, which is uh, here is called sound horn. I use my two little parentheses that indicate that yes, it is in fact a method. And then of course, I need to add code for what that method is going to do. If I don't add code for what a method is going to do, then well, dude, it isn't going to do anything, is it? So in this case, I'm going to sound a horn. And uh, so I uh, put it, I, it, this requires a script block. Script block uh, is how I let PowerShell know that it, I've got code that I wanted to execute. Uh, so I put my script block here. And in this case, I'm going to call a console beep. I've actually wrote a uh, several uh, Hey Scripting Guy blog articles where I talk about using the console beep. I, in fact, even like playing some songs and stuff with it. It's kind of cool, kind of weird. Um, it's a good way to waste some time on a rainy afternoon if you don't have anything else to do. So I call the beep, and then I specify the uh, frequency, uh, here is 800, and then the duration, uh, which is here, 900. Close it up, and that'll be a beep of a specified duration at a spe specified volume. So then the next um, method that I'm going to call is actually accelerate. Now accelerate requires an input parameter, so I'm using $arg here, and I need to specify how fast I want my car to go. So um, um, keep it under 50. Um, I have no error checking here. I'm multiplying it times 100. So uh, you don't want to like, you know, really like, you know, mess thing up or anything. So I start at 300, which is a fairly low tone. Uh, you can barely be able to hear it. And uh, then as I accelerate uh, through this range of numbers here, for each number, then I'm going to call a beep, which is the tone or the frequency uh, that I've specified or created over here, and then a duration of 150, which is going to be pretty short. So I'm going to uh, run, my, um, run my code that creates the class. And uh, I'm just going to use the uh, example that I used before, $A is equal to new object. Uh, car. Ah, should have just typed in car. Um, there's too many things to uh, try to accelerate past that. So dollar a dot accelerate. Uh, notice that uh, it comes over here. Accelerate. Uh, before I do that, let's just sell, sell the horn. So sound horn, 
Um, doesn't require any input parameters, and so I press enter. I'm going to be quiet. You should hear a horn blow. Okay, that's kind of a small car because it's kind of a higher, higher uh, beep kind of thing. All right, so dollar a dot accelerate. And now I'm going to specify, let's, uh, I said keep it under 50, so I will specify 50. I'm going to actually interrupt this because you'll get the idea after a little while. So here we go. Press enter. And you can hear it getting faster and faster. Tongue gets higher, louder. Okay, I'm going to pause it. All right, so you get the idea. Uh, so those are two methods that I've added to my car class sound, the horn and accelerate. Now, if I wanted to get more creative, I could play music uh, by you know, playing wave files and all that junk, but um, I'm not going to do that. Um, you can, um, I've got code uh, on the uh, Hey Script to Go blog where I actually talk about playing music, finding uh, music files and all that. If you want to implement those methods in your car class, uh, knock yourself out. Uh, so this is Ed Wilson. I'm the Microsoft scripting guy. And today I was talking about adding a couple of methods. Uh, one's a very simple method, another method uh, that accepts an argument to the uh, car class on Windows PowerShell 5 on Windows 10. Uh, thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.